A human life is a story told by God and no one knows what tomorrow holds. Today you may have the freedom but then tomorrow that freedom is taken away from you. Now Kamiti Maximum Prison remains to be one of the most feared prisons in the country but despite all that there are those prisoners that have decided to make a lemonade from the lemon that life has given them. We sought to find out whom they are and what they are doing behind bars. When I came here, I was sentenced to, to death because it was a robbery with violence. I was arrested, arrived in court and charged and uh, tried for a sexual offences of, uh, under the Sexual Offences Act and then I was later on convicted and sentenced to, 20, to serve 21 years imprisonment. I landed into prison uh, with the case of uh, murder a charge of murder case of a friend, a close friend of mine, that in fact a workmate. These are just but a few of the harrowing tales you are likely to get from inmates here at Kamiti Maximum Prison. Meet Wilson Kenya for the last 10 years, Kamiti has been his home. His life took a different turn when he found himself on the other side of the law a decade ago, what he describes as the lowest moment in his life. It was my first time to be in a police station, let alone being in, uh, in prison or in court. And the whole setup of the court was very intimidating. And here I am, pitted against a very qualified and experienced prosecutor to prosecute me on a charge of death sentence. The whole life became like, uh, my world became like it has come to an end. So I would feel that was my lowest time. And uh, now through the experience I've gone through the prison, I felt, okay, I'm in the bottom of the pit. The only opening is going up. So that's why I'm rebuilding myself. So that when I get that opportunity, I'll not be somebody who is hopeless. A beacon of hope came when the death sentence was committed to life imprisonment. This made him to move from the so-called condemned to join other inmates in the academy. To today, I'm in CPS section 4. And uh, last year, I got an opportunity. Again, I got a scholarship from University of Randall to do rope. Uh, so as we speak, I'm in my second year. I'm doing law uh, through the University of Rwanda International uh, Law Program. So what inspired Wilson to pursue law and how does he intend to gain bearing in mind that he's serving a life sentence in prison? I realized from my case, there are things I felt I could, uh, uh, were not really adding up in terms of justice. So through the experience in the hearts of justices, and I felt th there are things that need to be done with the justice system in Kenya. I've got also an application in court, uh, uh, pursuing again, uh, faulting the way the, the trial were conducted. And not me alone, but several others, we've teamed a group of inmates, like we are 12 of, of us, differently. Uh, charged with different offenses, but serving a common, okay, uh, suffering from a common problem. Kenya's story is not unique inside Kamiti Maximum Prison. About 12 inmates are undertaking paralegal studies in the academy, which is a collaborating center of University of London. Currently we have uh, a total number of 250 students in the academy. Uh, around uh, around Seven students are currently doing diploma in common law. Uh, we admitted uh, another seven uh, in, in this semester and currently the number totals to 13 students. Members perform. Students are performing well. Uh, we have quite a number of students who have gone to the university level. Uh, we have some who are pursuing the master's degree here inside the prison. Uh, those are our products. 
British High Commission has funded the project to the tune of £30,000 and plans to roll out a similar project in other prisons across the country are underway. Uh, the work of the industry team in the prison uh, and the education team is vitally important for inmates so that when they are inside they are learning, acquiring education and knowledge uh, and that we are reducing the risk of reoffending and rehabilitating the prisoners. Previously the classrooms were very overcrowded and very ca uh, cramped and we have built this new classroom block with funds from the British High Commission uh, with uh, I think there's about uh, six new classrooms so that the students have a place where they can learn and continue their studies. Most of the inmates in this program are hopeful that one day they will be released through the power of mercy and their message to the members of the public is crystal clear. Ignorance of law is a calamity. I think I should use that. Keep away from crime because crime doesn't pay. My brothers, my sisters, my sons, daughters, uh, that crime is not, uh, is, is not good. Speaking to prisoners here at Committee Maximum Prison, something that is coming out strongly from them is that stone walls do not make a prison. They have decided to move on regardless of what happened to them. And as they put it, the ultimate measure of a man is not determined during times of joy and comfort, but rather during times of crisis and controversy.